Welcome to another episode of the 604 Garage. back to the channel it's been a while hasn't it well I've been on vacation with the family but now we're back and we are gonna go to an autocross here shortly with the 1LE um, and it's a dry autocross weather is promising to be dry so I'd like to see how the car performs in the dry because it's been a while and uh, I didn't have it last year as you all know so basically we're gonna go out and we're gonna run in street 3 uh, street 3 is basically all your cam categories uh, cam C cam S cam T um, and of course in Street Tree we've also got some of the SS cars which uh, there is a Nissan GTR which is a pretty rowdy car. So I'm going to try to go out there and stay ahead of all the Cam S cars. The Cam S cars would be typically your Corvettes and there's a pretty nasty C6 Corvette out there. So we're going to see if the 1LE can stay ahead of the Corvettes. I don't think I'm going to be able to touch that GTR based on what I've seen him do this year. but. We can work on that uh, later. So one small step at a time. Let's see if we can stay ahead of the Corvettes. Um, and as we go, we're gonna pack here. So I'm just gonna kind of go over some of the things I take with me. Again, it's promising to be dry. So I'm gonna go and pack based on that. So some of the items I'm gonna pack with me, of course, first and foremost, I'm gonna use driving gloves. Um, I normally don't use these that often, but since this car has an Alcantara wheel, and since I am gonna be doing a road race here up in uh, area 27, I do want to take these, so got yourself your driving gloves. Of course, you're going to have to have your, your favorite hat. I've got my favorite Area 27 hat here. Wear that in between uh, runs because, you know, you're going to be using the old helmet here. And that puts you down. you got to have your helmet, of course. Uh, this is an SA2020. I think the rules locally allow you to go SA2010 or greater, so this is an SA2020. Um, what else are we going to do? I've got my own reflective gear for when I'm doing course duty. It's just a lot easier for me to do changeovers and I like to do quick changeovers at our local autocrosses because we do have somewhere in the 90 to 100 uh, participants usually. Um, what else? I usually bring along a little bit of chalk to chalk the tires. Now the 1LE has that performance supplement which does say to run you know these tire pressures for certain types of events. But I'll bring this just in case I find that I'm not getting anywhere. This is a cheap way to determine whether you've got the right air pressure in your tires or not. Of course, you need to have a tire gauge and get yourself a good one. Don't get yourself, you know, a gas station little digital guy. Get yourself something decent and that's accurate. Has a big full sweep. Lots of increments here to look at because one pound of pressure can make quite a bit of difference, especially as the day and the temperatures heat up and cool down. Tire gauge, of course I've got my tire pump right here, I'll use that of course. Uh, what else do I have? A little Windex or some other windshield cleaner in a Windex bottle, use that to keep your windshield clean, visibility is key here. Everything will go on a tote like this, especially if it's a rain event, you want to keep everything dry, so a tote, and you can even actually bring a tarp and wrap everything up in a tarp as well. And there's a couple more items I'd like to bring along, of course, you need to bring along something to put your butt in while you're not racing, while you're on a break, if you do have a break, so we'll bring a chair. And of course, over here as well, in case it's really hot or really cold, I bring my tent. So I've got a tent here as well that'll fit me, the car, and a couple of chairs. And one more thing I'd like to talk about is, I remember a few years ago, uh, the last dry event, the car had a lot of throttle lag coming out of a sweeper when I'm rolling into the throttle hard in second gear. It does not give me power. So it is a electronically controlled or drive by wire, I guess, throttle body. And as my foot's going wide open throttle fairly quickly, I know the throttle blade is not opening all the way. The car's not giving me power. That has to do with sort of the torque management in these new cars, these modern cars. Um, even the manual cars have torque management in them. So the car is not ramping in throttle where I want it to. And there's a lot of time left on the table um, years ago. So I wanna see if it's doing that. Of course, I couldn't test that out in the last event during in the rain, because regardless of what throttle input, the car was very, very uh, traction limited in the back end. But right now I'm gonna go and take a look at that. I do have my tuner uh, working with me to try to eliminate that because I think, you know, based on the last few times it was out a few years ago, 
there's a lot of time on the table. I probably, you know, left a second or so on the table. So you add that second to your time, that's a considerable jump uh, in where you are in the placement. So let's go out of the track now and see how a car performs. Let's see what kind of competition is out there, what it looks like. Hopefully the day stays dry and hopefully uh, I can get a better feel for the car and get some more seat time in this car. We are in grid. There we go. Some of the other cars in grid here. Nice looking Corvette, of course, Subaru, pretty nasty Subaru. Of course, the old 1LE. This is gonna go do some damage, hopefully. Now this is autocross. <laughs> Love it. on the floor and it was doing yeah, nothing. Yeah, I, I felt nothing there and I knew like, it would have been gone wow. for sure. The last third of the course, it doesn't give me any pedal. And there's the old brother-in-law at 3.30. So you've seen this car on the channel before. So we're kind of racing like to see who's going to be the fastest today. So <laughs> I got him in raw, but my run was dirty. So he's leading by one tenth of a second right now. And uh, well, we're gonna have to pick up our game, be a little cleaner, a little quicker. Uh, we'll see what he can do here. There we go. He's already got a cone. My nemesis, brother-in-law, Travis. in the black i think it's a 20. ken what year is your car 2020 one le always love the crackle from the exhaust of the, the newer models ken's gonna go give her a whirl in the hot one le's first time out today and he's doing an awesome job track basically that we're on here so he's gonna be someone I play with when I bring the 81 out let's see what he's gonna do on the launch right here nice and gentle keep the wheel spin down that's how you do it Ethan on track in the Nissan GTR Two goals for Ethan. <laughs>
Travis one more time in the BMW. So I bested my previous runs around a 40.37. He's 40.36 clean, so he's got one one hundredth of a second over my time. Let's see if he can improve on that 40.36. a cone unfortunately well let's see his raw on this anyways again that car's been on the channel but that's when it had an automatic now he's put a five-speed manual in there and it woke the car up Nine four with a cone. There's the 39, but of course there's a cone. Yeah, excellent job. All right, we're back home now. And what did we learn? Well, I still have a lot of throttle delay issues. Uh, that right-hander where you get on the throttle before the slowdown box, I'm on the throttle mid-corner and it takes a long time for it to ramp in. There's a lot of time left on the table and it happens upstream or in the earlier parts of the course as well in a few instances. So there's a lot of time left on the table and I'm gonna work with my tuner and he's got some ideas of how to manage uh, the torque management or work in the torque management settings to improve on the throttle ramp in. Um, otherwise, uh, Street 3 I ended up in fourth place. There were 16 cars out there. I stayed ahead of everyone, including the Corvettes, which I was happy about. The only guys I couldn't beat were the all wheel drive cars. There's that GTR, that thing is an absolute monster. And there was also that Impreza that you saw earlier in the video. That thing is on a massive tire, has a really, really good power. And that guy's obviously a good driver as well. So they beat me this time, but I'm gonna see if some seat time and fixing some of that throttle delay or throttle ramp in helps me. Uh, my brother-in-law, Travis, he did an awesome job driving again. Um, me and him used to autocross years ago and we were always very very close very competitive with each other and had very different cars well same thing here we have very different cars the 1LE you know versus his 330 totally different cars we're on a totally different tire different power levels and we were right there he beat me by one one hundredth of a second on his clean run yeah he had a dirty run which was quite a bit faster but hey that doesn't count. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed looking at autocross. Uh, and if you've ever wondered about autocross, it's a great way to learn how to control your car. It's a very safe way to do it. And it's a very cheap sport to get into in terms of racing. And uh, the best modification is always seat time. So the more seat time you have, the better. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.